Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on the addition by hand of uh, decimal numbers. So this piece here is just a reminder of place value. And if you looked at some of the other videos, you already have seen this image. But just a reminder, especially when you're rounding um, to numbers that are less than one, this this point here is the tenths point. So here's here's for example, <coughs> if this number is ninety three thousand two hundred and fifty seven point eight four three seven, this point here is our tenths. So just one under the decimal, right? This point here is the hundredth. So if you round to this point, you're rounding to the hundredth. Three is the thousandth. Seven is the ten thousandths. And we can go down to the hundred thousands and the millions, but normally you're not asked to round to that point. It, it can happen, but it doesn't happen often. All right. <coughs> so what we're going to do is add uh, these numbers, and these are called approximate numbers because they're they're measured. All right. It's not like if we had three pens, for example. Those are exact numbers. We have exactly three pens. But when we're talking about numbers like this, somebody has measured it. This could actually be 40.49 and it was rounded up. So it's called an approximate number. And when we're adding approximate numbers, we round in the end to the least precise member, okay, or number I should say. So here we just sort of line up our our decimal when we're adding them. So here we have 40.5 and you make sure that this number, the decimal is directly under this decimal. So this becomes 3.3. .3. Okay. <coughs> now, the precision on these is at the tenth place. So both of these are in um, at the tenth place. So then our answer will have an answer that's at the tenth place. So we add the five and the three and we get an eight. The decimal goes here. We add the zero and three and get a three. And we add the four and the zero and we get a four. So the answer is 43.8. We see here as I already mentioned that we're at the tenth place, so then our answer stays at the tenth place. Now we're adding up these three numbers. 1.092, and again we line up the decimals. This number 42, we know that the decimal is here after the 42. So the 42 goes there. Now we know there's just the decimal there, we don't have to put it in, but we have to be aware of the fact that the 42 has to be the left of the, de left of the decimal. And 5.9, 5 goes here, point 0.9. Now sometimes when you're adding up these numbers and you're having to look at this, it's just easier, especially in the beginning and you're working on it, just to put in some zeros in these places. So we sort of see what we're doing, okay? All right, now you see how they line up and we can just add them up. So two and zeros, this is a two. Here we have nine and zeros, so there's a nine. Zeros and nine again. One, two, and the five, that's an eight. And don't forget the decimal, the decimal goes right here. We add these up, we get an eight and the 4. Now at this point we have to decide how do we round. We see that the 42 is our least precise number, all right? Because the 42 did not have any decimal places. So that means this answer must be rounded to the ones place, all right? So we can see that we have 48.992. That 9 tells us that we have to change this to a 9. So in the end, our answer 
becomes 49. Okay, so again what we're doing is we're rounding um, to the point of where the least precise number was and our least precise number was 42 which had its last digit in the ones position. So that's what our final answer has to look like. It has to be rounded to this point. All right. Now if you want, you can try these questions. You can pause the video and give them a, a try. And then restart the video and I'll walk through the questions. Okay, so again we line up our decimals, so 0 0.029 and 8.47. We can see that our least precise number is the 8.47, so in the end we'll be rounding to this point. So 9 and 0, remember there's a 0 there, 9 and 0 is 9, these two add up to 9, 0 and 4 is 4, our decimal is here, 0 and 8 is 8. All right. Now, we said we're rounding to this point. That 9 changes this up to a 10, okay? And so this becomes 8, 5, 0. Okay, and we need to put the zero in because we need to round to this point. All right, so the zero has to be there. So that would be the answer. And the reason for that is that there's, these are measured numbers. So somebody has measured to this point of precision right here to the seven. So as a result, this answer needs to show that point of precision. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Now we'll add these numbers, 70.2 and 1.05. And we can see again that the least precise number is here. Okay? So this is in the 10th position, so our answer will have to be in the 10th position as well. And if it helps, we put a zero up here in this place, just to remind ourselves that there is a zero there. We add here, we end up with 5. 2 and 0 is 2. Our decimal is here. This adds up to 1, and this adds up to 7. Now we know we have to round to the tenth place. The 5 changes the 2 to a 3, so then the answer is 71.3. Okay? All right. So that video has been brought to you by Wise Guys. Um, have a good day. Take care.